it is hard to imagine what life would be like bringing home four babies all at once. A few weeks ago, we introduced you to the Webb family after the couple welcomed identical quadruplet girls. And today they are home in Hythe, five hours northwest mm -hmm. of our city. Health Reporter, reporter Carmen Leibel is joining us here now in studio. You are working on a two-part series on the Webb family. Mm -hmm. You know what, you just were so lucky to be able to go <laughs> out there and hang out with them. I How are these little girls? Th oh my gosh, I got to hold them all too. They are just <laughs> so precious. I loved meeting them. Four baby girls that even the parents can barely tell apart. We decided to pay them a visit to see how everyone is adjusting. Mom and dad are of course tired, but also full of love. An impressive sight that fills your heart. <laughs> Surreal still. Yeah. <laughs> I still can't believe that there's four of them. In birth order, there's Abigail, the oldest and smallest, Emily, a mix of calm and feisty, Grace with the loudest cry, and Michaela, the sleepiest. I couldn't imagine life without them now. That's now right. that they're here, I don't know what I'd do without them. An extremely rare set of identical quadruplets conceived naturally by this young couple from Hythe, Alberta. They say it's the Hythe water that makes twins, so <laughs> in this case, I guess quadruplets. It was during an ultrasound when Tim and Bethany Webb got the shock of a lifetime. When they actually counted four, it was just... I nearly fainted. Born at 33 weeks and home a few weeks later, the webs are, well, adjusting. I think for the most part, the feeding's the difficult part. There's definitely nights when it's difficult. I mean, it's worth it. The seven-week-old baby girls are so similar. This is Grace. I had to look at the toes because I wouldn't be able to tell them apart. Different shades of nail polish are being relied on. Grace is red. There. Abby, you're blue. Michaela, you're pink. And Emily, you are purple. They eat every four hours and are quite calm. Rarely a cry, at least during the many hours we were in the home. The babies have taken over every nook and cranny of the home yeah. Tim grew up in. Closets full of matching outfits, diapers and wipes stacked high. New York. Donated supplies everywhere. And Tim's mom wouldn't have it any other way. Uh, priceless. These babies are priceless. I really want a grandkid. Demi Webb's husband, who was once the mayor of Hythe, passed away before the girls were born, but he left behind important family values that will now be passed on. There's nothing I could do about my dad passing and not seeing these girls, so I just got to live as if he was here. And some might wonder, how does one even prepare to raise quadruplets? It's hard to plan, it really is. We just kind of go about our thing and play along. It's all a person can do. Eventually it will be four toddlers to chase after, four teenagers to keep an eye out for, and maybe one day four weddings to plan. Sisters who will have an incredible bond and one outnumbered dad. I might not get the washroom when I'm older. <laughs> I might be kicked out of the house when I'm older. Tim and Bethany say they have so much to look forward to now that their healthy girls are home. I can't wait till they start walking and talking. And I'm totally looking forward to watching them grow together in a tight-knit way because they will be tight. What a wonderful family. Well, in this story, you may have noticed a few people helping feed the babies. The community of Hythe has certainly stepped up for the Webb family. Neighbors, family and friends are all taking shifts either in the morning or afternoon to help with feedings, diaper changes and cuddles. We'll focus on the amazing support in the village of Hythe tomorrow on CTV Edmonton at 5 and 6 o'clock.